Greetings your highness, welcome back to my youtube channel Legend of the Phoenix Game Tutorial Today I'm going to show you daily routine that you can do when you logged in into the game for the first time in a day So, when you first logged in, what you want to do first is to claim all the rewards that are waiting for you So first you want to go to the rankings here and then go to the local server rankings and then we want to worship and this will grant you 10 ingots for every worship that you do on the rank so in the local server rank you have to do a uh, four um, worshiping and then it will grant you 40 ingots and yeah it's basically free and this you can do this every day, so remember when you load in, every day, worship first, so you don't forget. And the next one is go to cross server rankings, if that's already available in your server, and then just worship again. Then you get another extra 20 ingots, so from the worshipping daily, you get 60 ingots. So free ingots, yay! And the next one you want to go is you want to go and check in for daily signed in. Um, you don't see it up here, it's the VIP tab, but you don't see it. So if you see this button, like so, just tap on it, and then it will expand. And then now you can tap the VIP perks, and then go to the sign in, and then you just signed in. Now you gotta sign in every day. When you logged in, just sign in, don't forget this. Look at me, I miss five days of signing in. So if I want to reclaim all those five days, um, what is it called? Rewards. <laughs> then I gotta pay 10 ingots. So, uh, but I'm not gonna do it because I no longer use this character. But yeah, you just signed in every day so you don't have to miss it. And then the next one that I do is I go to the timed here this one timed event ranking just tap on it and there will be like total login days so you just enter event and then climb it so you get another additional 100 ingots so now you got 160 free ingots from worshipping at the local and crossover ranking and also from logging in uh, and claiming it from the timed rank and then the next one still on the first page is you want to go and check out all the events that are going on for example like the free spins now i got three free spins every time because i no longer want to log in again for the day i'm just gonna use it so if you don't want to pay any money at all uh you just need to wait until you got four free uh spins chances and then you just draw it because then it will um, enhance your chance and hence your luck for you to get the this brocade here and then or this brocade down here and you can also just add another one by watching um, an ad so you get three so uh, now i just get three uh, if you're watching an ad you get another one i'm not gonna do it so i'm just gonna draw it and see what i get there you go see how lucky am i <laughs> so i got one of the cloud brocades by doing that so remember to always just keep it until you get uh, four free chances and five with the watching that and then uh, and then obviously I always change to daily token the point shop from the spinning so that's in the my daily routine and then I go to the next and then I will go to the next uh, event and then I will just claim it because usually they always have something that you do for example the sky lantern and then you just claim the reward again there you go i have a lot to claim so all what you want to do is you want to claim uh, make it a good habit for you to claim all kinds of stuff that way yeah now this is a new event but i don't i don't know if i should join i don't want to join so i'm just gonna pass but yeah and then the next thing that you want to do after you claim everything from the first page, this is your home page, uh, is that you go to Palace Duties and then you 
claim all the experience all the silver and frame points and then next you want to go to the phoenix hall sorry i'm just gonna close this and then go to the phoenix hall and the first thing you want to do is you want to instruct your children i already oops sorry i already instruct my children so there you go i have children ready to be married so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna marry not marry them off but i'm just gonna let them do the imperial exam so i got free spaces you see so it will free up my children's seats okay now i got three free seats now i got three free seats the next i will go out and then i will go to the daily and then i will do daily so i'm talking about daily for a little bit here um if you see this uh chung kyu it's a book but it will only grant you a hundred uh, attributes point for me it's not worth it so i prefer if it's green color for the book i always prefer to just get the cathary xp right now i only got 10 cathary xp so another green book so i'm just gonna get the cathary xp now this is the exp for my partner so i'm gonna get the x for my partner because i need it another green book i don't want it and fan point i do want it so now this one is also another book but it's in purple that means that this is the book that will grant me a thousand attribute points yes thousand attribute points so i want this but then i also got confidence so if i got if i choose this one i can get 20 um, intimacy point for this guy over here but because i need the books more so i'm just going to choose the books and the next one is the fam so i'm going to do the fam again and again so that's just me but i usually do it like that when it's green i just choose character xp it will also help me to promote my character sooner and there you go uh, you can also do use a daily token if you have i have but i'm not gonna use it now uh, or you can also just watch um f uh, a commercial an ad and then it will give you another extra daily routine now you go out and then you go to confident next now on your confidence you want to date them so date them see because i have uh, f three free seats at the uh, foster child foster children now i got one foster child from this guy so because now i have two more free seats i'm just going to use this um energy peel to date more so i'm just going to use it and i'm just going to date six more times and i got another one there you go i got another one i got another foster children uh, foster child so now i'm go back to the phoenix hall and then go to the foster child and now i just confirm to name those children now you see those three empty seats are now filled with new babies i'm just gonna speed them up and that is a good routine if you go and date first you will miss um having to fill the seats so you want to make sure that you go and do the uh, children first instruct them and see if any of them are ready to be sent for the uh, exam if they're ready send them to the exam so you got free seats and then you date that way you can keep the uh, foster children uh, will going <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about so the next thing you want to do is the pigeon mail and you want to check the mail and see for example like this guy uh this guy i haven't completed uh, the mail yet this guy also not but this guy i have completed 13 out of 13 and because i'm so usually if i'm not lazy i will go and scroll which one i haven't done for example this one and then i will write a letter but because today i'm just going to show you the routine i'm just gonna go and press send all so next that i want to do is i want to check my quest okay ob obviously sorry obviously after the pigeon mail then i go to academy and then i fast complete everything that's already in there that way i keep the thing churning because i want uh, my character to be really strong and because i'm not going to log in again to this 
observer i'm just gonna use the edu which is going to take nine hours to uh, complete but yeah so this is my routine uh, you definitely so i sort this based on the recommendation there are two ways of sorting it this is the default setting but i want to uh recommend it uh sorting uh, system so i just press the first one that come up because it will already automatic that that's the best one um the thing about studying i mean the thing about academy is that it's basically no different than giving your partner books and growth packs and also skill packs the difference is that if you go to education or to study um I mean, you always have the academy, but you may run out of the book. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. Some people say it's not worth it to uh, invest in a lot of academy seats. I have eight in this server. I have ten in another server. I think it's worth it because you may not always have books, but you will always have the seats. So, yeah, <laughs> for um, I think it's really, really worth it to spend your ingots in buying more seats in the academy and currently i have four and if i want uh, sorry currently i have eight seats and if i want to extend i have to pay five thousand ingots so it's five thousand ingots for every uh seats after i don't know after what but yeah so i'm just gonna do that so the thing about the academy also you want to see this is enlightening is a hundred percent and there is a uh, uh, eighty percent so you want to always send somebody for to study when the enlightenment is 100 or 80 because that way they can maximize the point that they earn i mean if you don't reach enlightenment you will also get the the basic uh but yeah i guess it's a waste if you don't do it next that i want to do is i want to go to friends and then i just do here fast claim and then fast like if you see here my friend is 27 uh, this is the maximum uh, friends i can have in this server and this number is determined by your vip status so my vip status is currently uh, vip 7 like this person vip 7 so c and i has 27 but for vip 2 c would have a lot less friends than i would uh, or VIP 6 also have a different number of the friends list so liking the friend and mutually like the friend will grant you um, so because I have 23 friends so it will give me 23 ex main character experience point the next one is I want to check my mail what do I have in mail you get that I got a lot so I'm just gonna do a fast claim because that way you get everything from the mail next you want to do is check the daily quest and see what you can already claim now i can already claim all of this so i'm just gonna claim it and claim that and then i see what else i need to do in here then i would do it and the next one is check the achievement okay so i got achievement in this and then claim claim so it's basically a claiming routine next i will go out and go outside the palace and then go to kuningong in kuningong then you want to worship currently my status is lady wenja i think yeah my status is lady wenja and i only get 90 as you prom yeah see yeah, lady wenjing so once you get higher ranked you will get higher um ingot so if you for example get the lady yonking then i will get another five ingot so 95 so yeah you want to definitely level up your uh, upgrade your character here currently i'm lady wenjing i want to go to lady yonking so you can go tap and i want to go here lady yonking so i can get nine well, five ingots more and then if you have guild you want to go to your guild base and you want to do any building here because i only have 314 i'm kind of <laughs> poor so i'm just going to do a basic building there and then i want to then i would do the enemy but i'm not going to do it because it will take a long time and then i would also join the guild war and then 
I would claim the, some of the um, fame from the guild bank. If your guild already has a bank, it's a uh, starting level uh, three. And then I will pay off my debt. So I will donate some silver back to the bank. So I always have a surplus. So I can claim more fame and not being in debt. And then go to Regalia Clothes Bureau, sorry, Royal Clothes Bureau, and then claim the free stuff. There you go, I got these shoes and it com almost complete my set. And then get back out. And then I will go to the Imperial Garden and then I would uh, debate, but I'm not going to do it now. And then I would normally go to the Imperial Farm and check. See, these are my cabbage. I need to harvest them all. Check if you have anything to harvest or not. And then usually I will buy these roses. So uh, even though I'm not going to plant it, but I always buy red roses every day. And it's important. So you want to buy red roses every day and do it as part of your daily routine. That way, when you need uh, this money, this jade coins, you can always plant your roses and then you can harvest them and then you can sell them. I think I got some, see, I got 1200 roses, red roses, which I can sell to get me more jade coins. Now, there you go, I got 1200 jade coins. So the white roses I can also sell, it's more expensive. And there you go so that's that's it and then i would plan something but i'm not going to do it now and then i would water my friends plants and then next after i done for example here i have 24 times uh, chances to water my friends um, farm but i'm not going to go all out and then next after i water all of the plants from my friends i'm going to hunt for strangers uh, whom i can pick the crops from <laughs> so never pick crops from your friends and never pick crops from your guildmates so anisa is not my friend she's not in the friend list she's in the stranger list and she's not my guildmate so i can steal crops from her <laughs> i'm sorry anisa but yeah, so that's basically it. And if you don't want your crops to be stolen, you need to assign a curator. This guy, I mean, this person, Jelisa Ross, they didn't assign any curator at all. There's no one manning the farm. So that's why you can steal it from the person. But for example, I'm going to, for example, this guy. See, she has a curator here. She has a partner assigned to guard the farm, so no one will steal her co crops. So yeah, that's that. And then next, you want to go to the Hall of Unions, and then you want to attend because usually you get a free uh, attend attending. See, free this time. So you want to go to the. Again, I repeat, you want to go to the Hall of Union. This one over here, your Hall of Union. And then attend. This is the first time you logged in in a day, and then you always have a free this time. And then you can attend. And usually, I always always play the top one, the top mini game, because it's always the most. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's the best way to earn a lot of points by hitting the small battles. Of that one. And you get two chances for that, so I always do this one. Oh, shoot. Okay, if I don't get the small one, then the big one is also no problem. <laughs> okay, I'm doing so poorly in there. Alright, so you got two chances, and then I got my uh, banquet points. Here's the banquet points, and then I can exchange the banquet points with all of this. There we go. Next that I do is I go to map and then I go to travel and I travel. And then the next one, the last one is I go to rare beast hunt. Okay, actually not the last one. But then I would I would hunt in here. I currently have one more. So I would just go over here and then I would just hunt and wait 
and then I normally I will not sit on it. I'll talk about hunting later. And the last one would be hunting ground. So I would go to hunting ground and I would hunt this. I'm just going to do a fast hunting. There you go, fast hunting. Fast hunt. There you go. There. So that I would do after I finish that. And then I will then go back to the daily quest and try to finish all of the daily quests until I reach 200 until I reach 200, until I reach this one over here because then I can get extra ingots and also I can get a lot of character, main character experience points so that's it for the daily routine that you should do whenever you log in for the first time uh, in a day to the game and if you have any questions, any suggestions uh, write down below in the comment sections uh, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button. And see you on the next video. Live long and prosper, your highness. I'm out.